Hello again and welcome back to Resident Evil Director's Cut. So this perhaps may be the last video that I will be doing on this. And from the looks of this, I'm almost close to the end. Let me just organize something over here. Get rid of something that I don't need and we'll be on our way once again. I'm going to have to save this for another time. Alright, so we've got it, so now we can move on. And before we do that, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And make sure you press the notification bell if you wish to be notified over something. And my goal is to reach 100 subscribers, so please subscribe, that would be helpful. So with that out of the way, on with the adventure. And there's um there seems to be no snake around here. Okay. Let me just put this flamethrower over in this direction. And just to be sure. Okay, good. I have the hexagon crank. Yeah, I've been stuttering too many times in my last video. And most of it is either mumbling or something like that. So I'm going to try my best to speak proper mat words and all that the best I can because yeah this scene's pretty short usually it's just the holes on the upper side of the crank alright let's go do this Indiana Jones rock chasing thing kind of doesn't make sense to me because what is actually just pushing that rock over there and it's not even that downhill-ish in that part and there's the second doom book I'll take that out of the way, thank you. Now let's go inside here, see what we can get from there. Maybe just another Mo disc. And from the looks of things, I'm pretty sure this is also going to be a pretty short video. Just up there. Because we're almost close to the end. Lab key. Alright. Now we can go take the elevator in that other area.
Since the world it's shut so it won't open, and I don't have any time to pick up any health. Of the entrance. Of the entire laboratory. I believe. Okay, I actually know. I'm just trying to fool some of the audience that I don't know. Now we're descending into the underground. Let's see where I'm... The door's tightly locked. There's a panel right in a hat. Plate on Wright's hand side. <clears throat> emergency room, you will not open unless first class emergency. Alright, so we're here, so let's get our shotgun again. for a few of those deads. And of course this is electrically locked. got a slide so we can just save that to see the picture show real soon and we got ourselves another new camera angle from the looks of this this seems much cramped and smaller and a different lighting from more grimy than last time the original it's too dark to see anything of course if I had like Jill then it would be much easier to see the light Okay, we got the key for that, so let's get rid of it, of course. Uh, let's check around for a little bit. And that's two of my health. Great. Two of those things. I'm going to have to use the panel to get through there. And that door over there is locked. And look, we found another letter. 
Let's read it. Researcher's letter. <clears throat> Dear Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today, test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the matter into you. Into the, uh, geez. In case I take them out into the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape and make all of this public through the media. If anything is in order at the lock can be opened by the security system, you can access the system if you log in with my name for the terminal and the small laboratory and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2, where the visual data room is located, you will need to access with our name first and then enter another password. I've written the code below. Ensure you understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Password. These runes. Yours, John. John Ada. So, of course, they're the character reference in the sequel. And there's the runes that are there. Let's just turn on the light. Kind of seem difficult. Man, woman, April, apple, and tree. April. Alright, let's go to that other room to turn on the password. For both floors. That was easy. And I'm gonna have to silence this film for a moment. Common, I meant. And we also found another Mo disc. Also, is it just me or Chris's glove is wearing, has holes in it because just to show it later, it doesn't have any holes, just for a little gag.
Damn. Also, I purposely did that just for a reference of the remake. That's the password. Yeah, I think I mentioned that on my first video on that. But it's actually Mole. Alright, so now that we've got what we need, and I also found a Mo disc over there, let's head back to that area and see if we can go inside. Gotta take care of these guys. Actually, let me try going upstairs first. Okie dokie, let's see what we've got. Security system. Basement level one, helicopter port. Executive and government official only on heliport. Helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage to the helic helicopter. No one is allowed in the in to enter unless they are attached by a researcher's consultant or security director. All other will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergency. Basement level two. Visual data room. The visual data room is within the control of special researcher division. Keith. Arv Arvin, even I'm gonna butcher that name. This room manage the room manager is designed it to have just the vacation over room usage. Basement level three prison sanitation division control on the usage of the prison. Consultant researcher E Smith S Ross A Wesker. I wonder who that is must be present if virus is used. Triple lock door. No one is allowed to enter unless the presence are passcodes documents. Passcodes documents must be created on the specialized output machine by the chief researchers on each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervision may enter. Supervisor. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has Receive special instructions. Passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the password code on this machine but the chief researcher. <clears throat> Basement level two, four. Level four. Top secret regarding the progress of Tyrant after the usage of the T-virus. Remain document is unreadable. Okay, so I kind of messed up in some of those things. All right, let's go over here. Weird thing. And place this slide in the projector. Umbrella ink, bioweapon material. MA-39 Cerberus, the zombie dog. F513 Neptune Sharky MA121 Hunter and T2 Tyrant 
whatever that is, which I know. From the looks of the green line, this doesn't seem to be fully developed yet. And the Bioweapon Research Institute, R&D staff. And guess who's over there on the right? Actually, come to think of it, there's n Besides Wesker, I'm guessing the fourth person looks a lot like one of the staff of Capcom, I don't know. Alright, anywho, let's go press this. And see what's behind this panel. It's a Mo disc. All right, let's go downstairs. Almost burped. Or hiccups. All right, this is the re oh boy. Well, that takes care of them. And there's a fax behind me. Fax. <clears throat> to General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disaster Raccoon Special Research Department. This mem this memorand is strategy confirmed and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Regarding the T virus outbreak which occurred recently, this committee this committee conducts a field survey. According to the survey research, exterminate and the amount of damage caused by the accidents are considered greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in the term of actual members, numbers, I don't know, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposed to the T virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors should simple particular to the T virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, researchers' information considering by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiment has escaped and are out of control. We've been we believe that some researchers were killed by the subject and the bodies were mutila mutilated. By curious con uh, considerate, these, these events are proof of the, of the success of the researchers. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the solution is different to attend. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially consider that the state police and STARS are interventing too quickly. We need to act on this solution as well. See, that kind of sounds familiar. Even though instead it's more real. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Okay. And we found ourselves this thing. A passcode output machine. If I had a model disk, I could get to the codes. <sighs> P 
passcode one. Looks like a ticket. I swear by myself, declared the Lord, that because you have done this and have all not withheld your son, your only son. Genesis twenty two sixteen. Something from the Bible. Thanks a lot. Yeah, hopefully I can make it through. And yeah, there's more sound effect in the background. As always, that messed me up when I was reading. Oh. Let me see if I can find a herb. Okay, that's clear. Oh, great. going here just to see if I can try to do that puzzle thing and we got ourselves another camera angle This looks pretty subtle. Let me try to move this a bit closer. Ah, uh, hold up. Just take my time and see what I can do here. If I move this over in this direction and... Okay, let me try.
There we go. Now we can go into the vent. Which happens to be an autopsy room. Or a morgue. Not autopsy. Morgue. I wonder what's going to happen if I come any closer to these guys. Passage code number two. I will certainly bless you and make you descended, as numerous as the star in the sky and as the sand of the seashore. Your descendant will take possession of the cities of their enemies. Genesis 22, 17. A little simple. Yeah, nice try. All right, let's go into that office. Over there in this hallway. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. Ooh, well, I was going to say something, but... Well, actually, let me just go inside here. Leave those guys alone. Just to try something. That's not it. I can't tell if this is them. Yeah, that is. Almost close to the end. And combine you. Voila. All right, now we can get our Magnum. As well as one of the Mo Disc. And let's see if we can take care of these guys. Let me see for a moment. Ooh, yeah, that's. Not a pretty... There, that's a pretty sight. All in your face. And of course it doesn't work. And let's deal with these new enemy, those Chimera. Those guys. Uh, that was too... Actually, there's nothing there. Ooh! Yeah, nothing there. Should have reload better. There we go. Alright, that was pretty bad. Should have reload much more often. Nice try, but not quick enough. And this is the last machine. Put in the Mo disc. Passage to code three. And thus 
and though you offspring all nations of earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. 2218. Alright, now we can go over there and press that panel thing. So when I've been doing this video before, I usually go check on Rebecca, who self to turn on the self-destruct thing. God damn it. Monkeys. this connection to activate the elevator yes so yeah this is the second time when I go check over there when I was playing in my last old video I either go as Chris or Jill doesn't matter I usually check there to see if either Wesker's body's there or Rebecca there just to see if they activate this thing and speaking of which, I found a new battery, another battery. And a triggering system computer activator. We're not going to be messing around with that, of course. We're just going to go into the cell block to see how Joe is doing, since we already know she's in there. Right, we're here. Last remaining two. Probably gonna do on some editing when I'm done here. And let's see how Jill's doing. Chris! Jill! Wesker, he is... I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. Alright, now we can go back in and try to go to the elevator to see what's going on. Okay, so now let's turn on that elevator. Probably gonna edit that as well. Maybe, maybe not. Chris! Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. 
now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. And thus we've meet the final boss, Tyrant, not fully developed. And yes, Chris is wearing the same clothes from the original while well, he's not wearing the ones over there in the, the new one, straps thing. You know what I'm talking about. Is These straps. This? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. What? Don't come this way! No! You can't kill me! And thus starts the boss fight. Well, that was quick. Ultimate failure. Very simple as that, so yeah. What a miserable death. No doubt about it. Looks like the control device for the room. The door is locked. Switch. Will you unlock it? Yes. And that takes care of Captain Wesker and whatever that is. Let's check on Rebecca. This bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. 
Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Alright, so Rebecca is going to activate the triggering system. Let's just go inside here and see if we can prepare to escape. Hexagon, nope. Shotgun. Looks like we're good. Alright, so again, I am not going to go over there to the power room with this, where Rebecca is heading, just to check on her, because that's a waste of time. Similar to that I play as Jill, just to check on Wesker's corpse. So let's get out of here. And what did you know? That was pretty fast. I don't have time for you guys. Let's go over there and get Jill. Jill sandwich. Now time for a little shipping sequence. Jill! Sorry for making you wait. Chris! I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. And was it just me or did I just see a Jill's underwear? That? Or perhaps it's just pixelated legs of hers. Alright, enough details. Let's get out of here. Whatever you say, Jill Sandwich. And let's take care of these guys upstairs. Every time you shoot their heads, they're splur to like geysers, bloods, and all that. I don't think I have enough, but I hope this will last. And Jill finally got her gun, even though this is the wrong color. Still, too bad we can't find Barry Birkin. Burton, what I'm saying. That'll be awkward if Barry and William was related. But yeah, Barry doesn't seem to be around.
Will do, Brad. Send you a sim signal just so you can get over there. Just wait. There is three minutes until explosion. There we go. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Great! Rebecca! Brad's up in the helicopter! Look at those monsters! Let me take care of them! Now that we're in the heliport, let's call Brad up. Flare, yes, sorry. Before we do that, let me just check the entire area so we can give it one last memory. And from the looks of this, looks like we've already been everywhere. Every room we've been through. Three. Mm. Ah, okay, that's everything. And the files. Okay. Now we can signal Brad. Just wanted to take my time, but not a pretty smart move. And waiting for the big climatic moment with Tyrant. There we go. Two, three. Are you serious? Jesus Christ, I'm getting murdered. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> There we go. And finally. Chris, use it! Destroy the monsters with it! Okay, no more messing around. Adios.
There you have it. That concludes the director's cut or the arranged mode of Chris Redfield. And we've already revisited that whole thing again. Only I tried to read some of the files the best I can. Yeah. This is completely different like the original mode and all that. So that narrows it down that there are a few different changes with this one. Faster enemy, different sprites, whatever. Camera angles and costume. So this is pretty challenging, despite some interruption during my commentary. But that literally concludes revisiting Resident Evil Director's Cut with the arranged mode with Chris. I'm not certain if I'm, if I'm gonna do the one with Jill or whatever. But thank you for watching my video. If you ever want to watch the original, not original, but long full runtime of Chris and Jill from the original, not the um, DualShock version of Resident Evil, I will leave the link down below. And yes, make sure again, leave a like if there's anything you like interest, comment down below and subscribe. And make sure you press the notification bell if you want to be notified. So until then, I will see you again in the next chapter or project. <laughs> project, I meant.